Welcome back, everybody, to an all new Cools Does book reviews. Uh, kind of different setup this week. We're kind of on the go, getting some stuff ready for you, some investigations, as well as planning our Halloween special. We're getting close to starting that. Uh, for this week, we uh, we finally picked a better book than our last couple ones. It's uh, Shot in the Back by William W. Johnson and J. Johnson. It's a Western novel of the outlaw Jesse James. So, the book opens up in 1942 as 95-year-old J. Frank Dalton walks into a recruiting office after Pearl Harbor, and he wants to sign up to help the young soldiers learn how to fight. Now, to sign up, he has to use his real name, which he says is Jesse James. Now, of course, no one believes him there because Jesse James was supposedly shot in 1882 by Bob Ford. Now, the sheriff vouches for Jesse, as he is one of Jesse's close friends. After a while, Jesse goes with the sheriff to meet an author, Frederick Frost, who writes under the name Max Brand. Now, Max has researched Jesse James quite a bit, so he is quite skeptical to start off the story. Uh, as he goes through, he asks Jesse, first of all, about the Northfield Raid. He wants to get his, uh, his viewpoint about that, as well as the time... He or how he died. Now this kind of falls into the conspiracy part of it as well as there has been conspiracies that Jesse James faked his death and this one uses one of the more popular versions of using Charlie Bigelow who looked awfully like Jesse James as the stand-in for Jesse James's murder. Now the Norfield raid as well as his death scenario is kind of glossed over but that is okay because we have heard so much about all of those before uh, luckily for us the author takes quite good care and actually researches pretty heavily into making the after his death story continue after he leaves missouri he does end up uh, getting remarried when he comes to wild horse colorado and he has two kids, Frank and William, who calls himself Billy. Now, after his wife dies, they move and they open up a farm. Uh, Frank is a farmer and he loves the farming business. Uh, Billy, on the other hand, doesn't like it and eventually leaves and actually holds up a grocery store. And that's kind of where the story takes off as Jesse takes him under his wing and they go through just a bunch of crazy events and it's really quite fascinating to see a lot of actually true stories uh, roll out and play out like that. And that's one of the best things about this book, is how well researched it was. It actually makes you think, did he fake his own death? And they do use the, uh, J what's his name, uh, Frank Dalton, towards the end, which is actually a real guy. And a lot of these events obviously are real, but a lot of the names of the people are real, which... Uh, uh, led to its credibility. It uses real events like the Denver U.S. Mint robbery in 1916, the San Francisco earthquake in 1906 and the World's Fair, which are all quite interesting to read, as well as to see how Frank uh, James uh, reacted when Jesse approached him. Uh, overall, I actually really highly recommend this book. I give it uh, about 8.4 out of 10. So it it almost overthrew Kronos Rising, but honestly, really, really good book. So please go check that out, and thank you again, and join us next time. Until then, shut